Hoping to echo those words from 20 years ago of winning a fourth division title in five years. This time around an AL West crown as we get ready for baseball on this Wednesday night with a magic number of one. Luis Garcia takes the hill tonight for the Astros. Young right handers had a great season 29 games 27 of them have been starts a beautiful 3.23 ERA you see that bottom line he's been very good at home. There is a strikeout on three pitches. Luis Garcia makes quick work of Brandon Lau to start this game. And here's Juan DeFranco switch hitter batting left as Garcia wind up delivers swing at a ground ball fair down the third base line into foul ground and coming a long way to chase it as Jordan Alvarez throws to second and Wander's got a first pitch double and the Rays get their first hit of the night. And he also extends his on base streak right away to a record tying 43 consecutive games ties Frank Robinson who did it for Cincinnati back in the 56 season with the longest on base streak 43 he's going to go to third as that ball bounds away from Maldonado and the Rays have a runner at third with one out swing and a miss big strikeout for Luis Garcia getting Nelson Cruz for out number two got him Got it with a cutter down and in underneath the swing of Wendell. Luis Garcia strikes out three in the first. Taking the mound tonight for the Tampa Bay Rays. Our starting pitchers are presented by Baycare. It's going to be right hander Drew Rasmussen. Look what he has done in his last seven starts. Basically, since he moved into the rotation for good. The record, great, 2 0. But look at the ERA and the whip. Just not giving up any base runners, attacking the strike zone. Fastball. Sky to right field. Phillips there to make the catch. Three fly ball outs, one to left, one to center, one to right. No score through one. Swing and a miss. Luis Garcia, who hasn't had four strikeouts in a start in the month of September since the fifth, has four strikeouts now in his first four outs. It's a high fly ball back into right field with some carry. That ball is going to be off the glove of Siri. Phillips continues to run, and he's going to wind up at third. Phillips gave it a ride. Siri and Tucker both converging, and they could not, Siri could not corral that one. He overran it. I mean, he overran it. He, he gets there. He goes too far. Now it's behind him. Phillips at third, two outs in the second. Round ball, that's through into right field, the base hit. And the Rays will take the lead. Brett Phillips crosses the plate, and it's 1 0 Tampa Bay. Nice job by Mejia to get that through the right side. Lyle swings, gets under this one. That baby's going to fly. Gone. Home run to right by Brandon Lyle. A two run shot it's three nothing Tampa Bay home run number thirty five a two run shot Alvarez big time power and he is out on strikes when breaking in on him he gets ready for October baseball tonight was a pretty important outing he gets G man Troy to bounce one to Gurriel gets the force there the return throw for the double play Yuli to Carlos back to Yuli. That could be a gold glove tandem if all goes well in the offseason. There you go. That's Wendell for the second time tonight. That's now five strikeouts for Luis Garcia. We head to the bottom of the third in a three nothing game. And it's different and it's loud and it can be you know it can jar you if you're not used to it. So you want a calm cool collected guy out there. And there's another one two three inning three in a row for Rasmussen. We go to the fourth three nothing Braves. Winning games every which way. Runner on the go. The throw by Maldonado. A good one out at second base is Kiermeyer. Martin Maldonado with his 17th caught stealing of the year. Maldonado cuts down another runner. This ball popped up. Maldi a Do it, attack. Maldi. Yes, he did. Martin Maldonado getting out from behind the plate. What a play by Maldi. Just got done throwing out Kiermaier, and now he's laying out for Luis to end this inning. Incredible play. Rays after their 98th win. 
This one lifted toward left center, and that ball is caught out there by Margot. Manuel Margot, a diving catch into left center field, and you saw the expression from Rasmussen. Margot goes horizontal. Then we'll see what T-Man Choi can do. He swings and sends a fly ball into deep right center and out of here. Home run. Choi on the first pitch watches one. A three run blast and the Rays will take a six nothing lead. And if you're putting pitches in good spots you can get a lot of early outs and that's what we've seen from him. It's been pretty pretty awesome. The 2 popped into short center. Kiermaier makes the catch. Base hit. The man left. We're through five. Six nothing. Rays. So five innings of one hit shutout baseball for Drew Rasmussen. And now Patino never born. Ground ball left side. Wendell up with it. He throws in plenty of time. A base hit. The man left. We go to the seventh. Six nothing Rays. Tapper to third. Wendell's throw is in time. Three up, three down. On to the eight. Six nothing Rays. Brett Phillips, 0 for three tonight. He sends this one into right center field. That's going to be extra bases. Scoring Wendell. Phillips on his way for three and he's going to make it now he's going to come home and the throw is going to be in time. Well he had a triple for sure and tried to circle the bases and was out by plenty. That's a liner and Franco up there after it made the catch. All right, Franco spring loaded. To respond to that line drive off the bat of Diaz. 3 2. And he got him. A cut and a miss on that 3 2 pitch to end this one. And the Rays are winners 7 0.